you. Sorry about that. Okay, we should be ready to get started here. Hi, everybody. Welcome back after a long break, right? Um, so, um, thanks for joining us um, again. Today, we're going to talk about better conversations or giving positive feedback. And um, I'm Tina Souser. As you can see, <laughs> Stephanie and I are both in different locations, so this is a new one for us. Hopefully, we can still make it work well for you. Yeah, and again, I'm Steph Wanick. Um, we're both on the PD team here at ESU8, so we're so happy that you could join us, um, especially at this time of year where sometimes we need a little pick-me-up, right? We're in the middle of winter where weather's not great, and maybe we've had uh, 14 days in a row of inside recess. The kids are going a little stir-crazy, and everybody's feeling frustrated. So we thought this is a perfect time of year to start to talk about having um, those better um, conversations and being a witness to the good or helping share the good messages um, in our schools. So we can advance maybe two slides there, good. So um, there's a nice quote to start us out. Very little that is positive is solitary. When was the last time you laughed uproariously? The last time you felt indescribable joy? The last time you sensed profound meaning and purpose. The last time you felt enormously proud of an accomplishment. Even without knowing the particulars of these high points in your life, I know their form. All of them took place around other people. And I think that's true in schools too. We're surrounded by these wonderful people, by kids, by adults, um, everybody doing great things every day and if we take a moment to um, pay attention to those wonderful things some of the not so great things that come around um, have maybe um, less of an impact on us and it, it, it takes more sometimes to think of those good things but they're definitely important and I think once you start to focus on them um, it, it they pop up more and more um, that's that's what you start to see instead of the negative things. So um, we want you to talk to the people around you for a moment and describe a time when someone shared some positive feedback with you that really had a positive impact on you. It could be all throughout life, um, when you were a kid, as an adult, at home, at work, wherever you were that somebody shared some positive feedback with you. So um, go ahead and share in, in your own settings for a few minutes. And I actually have a great example of this um, because when you share something positive, it those are long-lasting comments that you can really um, that can really make a positive change in in someone's life. And so I've been in education for several years now, and this this comment was made by a former student's parent um, to me specifically. And it was many, many years ago that they made this comment. And it, that comment that the parent made to me can, comes up to mind many times. And so basically a parent, one of my former students um, in third grade, her parent, a parent came up to me and she came up to me and gave me a hug. And she said to me, please tell me that you are still teaching somewhere in education. And I guess I kind of took me aback a minute and because um, I had made some changes in my career uh, prior to that, and and so I kind of explained to her what what I was doing, which I was still I was yeah. still in education, just in a different role. But I asked her in the end why she had made that statement, and she told me that it was because I had made such a profound impact on her son and her son's education that she was very very sad if if I wasn't able to have that impact for other students, and and I don't mean to to make that into a bragging comment, but it, that is something that comes to mind every time um, I may be questioning something or um, wondering if I have any effect in what I'm doing. So it, it has definitely made a profound um, change in my life in just that one comment. So, Can we get a couple um, people to share out from Zoom land, somebody um, to share a, a 
piece of positive feedback that they had? Don't all jump to go first, but who wants to share out a story from their life of a time that you got some feedback that was positive? We may call on you if we have to. How about our um, Norfolk site? Do you guys have anything that you could share? I have you unmuted so you could share something if you have one. Awesome. Thankfulness, uh, praise, um, just the good feedback from the teachers. I worked at a job where you're afraid to turn your head because you might get yelled at. And so it was. That's great. And I think that that is one good thing about working in the education setting. Hopefully we do pay a little bit more attention to take that time to tell people when they are doing a good job. We know it's really important for our kids to hear that. And hopefully it's important in your buildings for adults to hear it too. So if it's not already going on, this is your chance um, to learn a few tips today um, to help um, share that positive feedback. So Tina, I think we'll go back to share your screen maybe and... Um, oh my goodness, I don't know what happened. Sorry, Stephanie. No, you're just fine. There we go. So there's actually um, um, a, a great presenter that we've had several times at the ESUs and his name's Jim Knight. He works out of uh, KU in Lawrence, Kansas. And um, he has some attributes of positive feedback that he shared with us. So one of them is that um, that positive feedback is very direct. So you use the first person. You say, I appreciate your help. You don't say, oh gosh, other people, they really appreciate your help in our building. But you make it really personal and say, hey, it makes a difference to me. Thank you. You made a difference in my life because you were so helpful. Um, um, it's also specific. So um, you actually explain the details of that praise. Lots of times we're really general about praise. We say, oh, good job. Oh, you did great. Oh, people love you. Oh, you know, this is, this is wonderful that you do. But we want it to be very, very specific. Like um, Jackson was a lot less frustrated after you helped him with his iPad. So that gives a specific instance instead of just saying you're really helpful in school and, you and say I, that exact time that you witnessed someone being helpful okay jackson was a lot less frustrated and we know if a kid's a lot less frustrated that takes away a lot of problems in our day and problems for that student and i think there's another important um component of that stephanie in in the text itself is I think it's important to definitely start with their name instead of, you know, just even if you're standing right next to them, you always start the positive with their name. Like, for instance, Tony, I really like how you were sitting up straight and focusing on your work. Excellent job. And, and that just gives them the um, personality aspect of it as well. Mm -hmm. and, and they're associating their name with good things when they hear their name called. Um, sometimes our kids hear their name and they know it's not for good things. So we want to associate their name with good stuff. Um, and then also that that praise is non-attributive. So um, you're going to describe the experience of others. So you could say things like, three students have shared with me that you really care about them. Or, you know, um, uh, you know, a group of girls came up and said how much help you were in helping solve their problem at recess. Um, so instead of just saying, oh, you're great, oh, you're nice, those things, um, it's kind of fact-based, right? It, it gives a bit of data. It gives a, a fact of, hey, these three kids came up to me and they told me how great you're doing. That's a good thing. And it kind of takes them back to that moment in time when, when they did that. If you can't give immediate feedback, it'll take them right to that moment in time uh, in their head so they can attribute 
what you have shared with them with what they actually physically did. So again, um, those three um, attributes are to be direct, specific, and non-intributive. Okay, so we have some examples here for you. So the first one is, um, you are such an engaging teacher. I noticed that every student was participating today. Two students commented about how much fun they have in your class. Okay, so we're very specific. We give that data point. Two kids came up to me and told me how much fun they're having. Um, I saw the kids all participating. Um, so um, it's very specific and non-attributive there. And I can relate this back to the example that I gave previously where a, a mom had um, given me a compliment. And if she had just said, well, you're a good teacher, that that doesn't give me any any information it doesn't give me any data well why you know what is it that makes me a good teacher or what is it that i did that um, made a difference okay the next example here says i am so proud of the way that you stayed focused during seat work today you even helped two friends that had questions so this is one directed more at students than another adult in our building um, but we tell the kid, I'm proud of you. I see that you stayed focused in your seat today. That was maybe a skill that that student had worked on. So it's very specific. And um, then to have that little bit of a data point or a fact that says, you helped two friends that had questions. You contributed to our class being a successful place. And I think that this is an important one too, because if you have a small group of students and one student is doing what they're supposed to, you know, our first step reaction is to redirect the ones who are not doing what they, they're supposed to first, and then maybe go compliment this other student. But I think it's important to, if you're going to state a specific example or specific thing, I think it's important to highlight that student who's doing what they're supposed to initially, and hopefully the others can possibly follow. Um, so you might say something like, hey, Eden, I really appreciate how you immediately lined up when asked. Great job. Your actions are a great model for the rest of the class. And then you're actually um, identifying a positive with that student, but you're also directing the comment a little bit to the others, and hopefully um, not in every situation, but they may uh, make the right choice without having to pull out the negative. Most of our kids from our oldest to our youngest are just seeking approval from their teacher. Um, the older kids might mask it a little bit, but they really do love it. And so when they can hear that they're doing a great job, that's, um, you know, really what they're looking for. And um, if we can just praise the ones that are doing a good job, lots of times the others start to do what those kids were doing and um, quit their non-desired behaviors. So here's the next example. Uh, you remembered to do and turn in your homework every day this week. I'm so impressed with your responsibility. So this is a problem with our older kids a, a lot of times. Um, you might have to help kids keep track of that homework or make sure that they get it done. And um, they really do need to hear that praise and um, you know draw on their good qualities that you're seeing. And you know, this might be something that... Stephanie? Yep. Uh-huh. Excuse me, Stephanie, but we cannot hear Tina. Oh, you can't hear Tina. Okay. No. Oh, I'm, I apologize. I'm going to try. Is this better? No. Okay. We can hear Stephanie just fine, but we can't hear Tina. Okay. Is anybody That's else having that problem? Ladies, I'm loud. No. <laughs> I, I, if I talk louder, does that help? Not really. Not much. Okay. You know what, um, Stephanie? I uh -huh. don't want to hang anything up because I don't want to. That's fine. Anything. Just, uh, I'll, I'll continue on and um, we'll go from there. Yep. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for letting us know, ladies. Okay, so again, those older kids still need praise too. And as we move on here. Um, you might even see kids work in social settings and you, you need to praise that too. So uh, group work was successful today because you participated. One of your classmates even said that your drawings were just what the project needed. 
And so um, really we're praising in different times. Now, I would say probably don't praise older kids in front of their peers <laughs> um, in, in this kind of setting where group work um, might have been trouble in the past. Um, some older kids like to have it um, a little bit more quiet because they might get a little bit embarrassed by the praise. However, don't let that stop you from giving the praise. They still want it, um, just maybe in a more private setting. Okay, and then we know out on the playground, right, we oftentimes um, need to praise kids and adults alike. So not everybody's favorite job is recess duty, right? So if you see another um, para or teacher out on the playground, you might say something like, I saw you interacting with the kids on the playground today. Two kids ran out the doors looking for you. They really love having you out there with them. So sometimes um, when we have to do a job that is less desirable, if we just hear that little praise like, well, the kids love having you there, <laughs> it makes it um, a little bit uh, uh, something that we look forward to a little bit more or try to have a positive attitude about. <laughs> so one thing to remember is definitely share it when you see it. So we want feedback to be immediate. Go ahead and tell people right when you see something great going on in the school. Um, and don't be afraid to just really let them know um, they're doing a great job. So um, kids and adults. Um, and let's see here, another little tip for giving great feedback is uh, when we are a witness to the good, others may feel encouraged, validated, boosted and sometimes inspired. And so why hold that back from them? Just go ahead and immediately tell them what you're seeing. And it might be something really um, quiet and small, just like, you know what? Those kids love that activity, you know, as you're walking out the door of a teacher's classroom. Um, all the kids were learning from that today. Um, I had a principal who would walk through our classrooms almost every day. And he would write us little notes and put them on our chairs for us. And so when I would come around the corner of my desk and see a note on my chair and open it up and it might say, you know, I remember one in particular and I remember it by heart because it, it made a difference to me. He said, you rock. Every time I walk in the room, kids are engaged and um, having fun. Um, keep it up. So just those little bits really, um, you know, in, in our long days that we have make all the difference. So um, Jim Knight in his book um, quotes Carol Dweck. And Carol Dweck is a famous author who wrote a book um, called Mindset. Um, and it's, it's just a kind of a, a trendy book right now, but it's really uplifting and saying um, that we want people to have a growth mindset and thinking that we can always get better. And um, she says here, we should not praise students' intelligences. We should praise their effort, strategies, perseverance, or improvement. So take a minute just to think about that and maybe talk to your neighbors um, for a moment. And think about the times that you praise kids. Are you praising their effort and the things that they're trying or just what they're succeeding at? Just, um, just the A's of the bunch or just the 100% of the bunch? Or are we praising those kids who maybe made some progress? So go ahead and chat at <coughs> minutes and then um, we'll come back and talk. So Paris, I'm going to venture to guess that sometimes you work with struggling students. 
students who don't always feel like they get everything right. Um, and so um, hopefully you see the value in praising that, hey, um, today they got one more question right on a quiz than they had in the past. Or um, boy, they tried so hard at that project that they were working on. And um, you know, each component shows their effort. Um, it's really important for us to praise um, how hard they're trying, um, not just on what performance is judged as perfect. So we're going to let you do some practicing of giving praise to each other. Um, so we're going to have you work with a partner. Um, and if you're in a small um, setting and you guys can do it as a group, but you're going to practice giving that direct, specific, non-attributive praise to students and staff. And then um, we might do some sharing out of some group favorites. So um, this next slide gives you some example cards on it um, about um, situations that you might find with a student or a staff member. Um, feel free to add more um, details in there if you need to. So the first one says a student struggles to complete a task but persists until the task is completed. Um, what would you say to that student who's really struggling, but they stick with it? Um, go ahead and with your partner or a small group at your site, um, practice giving some feedback to all of these cards. Go ahead on your own and paste through them or pick out one that you want to give praise to. And then we will be calling on you to share out with us, please, because you make this um, an interesting, lively chat.
Hey, everybody out there, can you give me, um, we call it a fist to five if you need more time. So fist would mean zero more minutes, one for one more minute, and so on. Fist to five. How many more minutes do you need? I'm showing people are done. Okay. Hey, thanks for participating. Um, so hopefully you got some practice in um, thinking about different times when you can give some great positive feedback. So remembering too that we want to give that positive feedback to students as well as staff. Um, did anyone hear someone at their site say a great bit of um, positive feedback? Does anybody want to share out one of their partner's um, messages? <laughs> you don't have to share your own this time. You get to share somebody else's. So that's what makes it great. We'll share one from Norfolk. Okay. Hey, thanks so much. We just had for the for the one where they worked good with a group. We just. We've always said, like, thanks for being such a good team player and helping others in your group. And I don't know. We know it was difficult, but good job. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it is difficult to work in those groups. So to mention, hey, you know what? You really, um, you really kept the group working, and you kept it very calm. Thank you. Um, also, that last staff one, the staff member that makes others feel good. We know that those are the kind of people we love to be around at work, right? And so to just, you know, when you start to notice people doing stuff like that, tell them. Um, so, you know, it might be, hey, you know what? You always make a big deal about people's birthdays here. Thank you so much for um, making them feel special. Or, hey, you know what I noticed about you? You never get involved in the gossip that goes on around school. You keep it really positive, and that makes a difference in our whole workplace. Thanks for doing that. Um, uh, adults need to hear that praise, uh, I think, just as much as kids. That, um, you know, a place, a workplace like, like one of you shared out before that um, is focused on praising, um, it, number one, makes people want to come to work every day and want to stay in that job for a long time. And it makes us forget some of the bad days and forget some of the bad things that happen during a day or, or less desirable things. So, um, let's do that all at work a little bit more. And this is a way that ESU 8 has decided to do this. Um, over the last um, year or two, 
um, we've taken on a hashtag on Twitter and um, it's hashtag celebrate with an eight at the end. And so these are some of the examples of times that we have um, tweeted about celebrating. Um, so we celebrate at our learning centers. Um, we, we operate some learning center schools. We've celebrated through art shows. We've celebrated through quiz bowls. Um, we celebrate when we go out to schools and work in your individual schools. Um, so not only are we celebrating right here at ESU 8, but we're also celebrating all of our great schools in the ESU region. So, um, so that's just one idea that we have that uh, feel free that anytime you have a little bit of praise to give, tweet out with our hashtag celebrate. So we have a challenge for you. Are we ready for this? Um, to share a compliment for a student or staff member from events this week. Remember, we want you to be direct, specific, and non-attributive. So go ahead and share out at your sites one bit of praise that you could give to somebody um, from something that you've seen happen this week at school. And we are definitely gonna call on you by sight, okay? Nobody's off limits this time. So think about something great that's happened that you wanna celebrate and um, tell, tell the others that praise that you would give to them. Does everybody have one? We're going to call on people. We're coming at you. I'll go first. I want to give a compliment to Tina. Um, Tina, everything that you do shows your loyalty and dedication to your job. Um, when you take on a task, you um, you do your very your personal best at it each time, and um, that really shows your loyalty to the people that you work with, and the people you're trying to help, and just your dedication to the job. So thanks so much for all that you do at ESU8. Okay, Spencer Campus, do you have somebody who wants to shout out some great bit of praise that they're going to give someone this week? Our coach received his 500th win, basketball coach got his 500th win, and we congratulated him the next morning and patted him on the back and told him that not only is he a good coach, but he works well with the kids in the classroom. That's great. That's a great bit of feedback, too. And I think those coaches especially love to hear, hey, you don't just make a difference on the court. You're awesome in the classroom, too, and you're inspiring to your kids there, too. So good job. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess it's Butte because it says Cindy's name on it. So I'm going to guess it's Butte. Can you guys unmute and somebody share out with us? Oh, we're having a hard time hearing you, Butte. Can you speak right into the computer? Sorry. I'll do it. We have a um, para that drives the preschool bus and also another para that rides with her and the bus driver complimented the other para for um, having the kids train to be quiet at stop signs and do a good job so she can drive the bus safely. Hey, what a nice thing to hear. Uh, bus drivers do not have an easy job, do they? Um, so that's a great bit of feedback to that para too to say, hey, you know what? You're making a difference in my job here. You're making my job easier because you have those kids so trained and, um, and you know, it affects the safety of everybody. So good job. Thanks, Butte. 
Um, uh, how about Troy site there at Grant? Anybody want to share a positive bit of feedback they want to give this week? Somebody at Grant want to unmute and share out what they want to say to somebody this week? Okay, we'll skip over Grant for a minute. How about Lynch? You want to share something with us? Here they come. Thank you, ladies. Can you hear us? Yes, we sure can. Well, we want to praise our bus drivers for um, oh, no. doing such a good job on bad roads. Yeah, doing Everything. such good jobs on bad roads and getting the kids on time to school and getting them home safely. Great. That's another shout out to those awesome bus drivers. Um, and they don't have an easy job, especially during winter when the roads are terrible. And they're dealing with kids. We know how the kids act when snow's coming, right? Yes. And they have to get up early in the morning, so. They do. They get up early. Um, ah, I heard how early some of your kids are starting school. So I know that they go very early um, to get out there and get the kids. So with a little doubt, like drivers, good idea. Okay. Next, I have Teresa's site. Okay, um, every morning we do what we call a gratitude walk with the kids um, K through fourth grade. Um, and then we take them over into the gym after we get done walking around outside and we oh, kind of tell everybody what they've done for kindness today. We hear them say hi or good morning and looking people straight in the eye or if they've given up a swing for a kid or something like that, we make sure they know that. Is that amazing? That's awesome. So not only are you giving the good praise right then, but you're also teaching the kids to be thankful for everyone else around them. Good nice. job. I think that's going to make our whole world a different place, right? Awesome. Well, you know what, you guys, we appreciate you. And so I'll give a bit, a bit of praise to all of the paras in the ESU8 region. Thank you so much to being dedicated to our kids and to seeing improvement in kids and seeing the best in kids. And also, um, thank you so much for being so dedicated that you tune in with us each month. I think that that um, makes a difference and it really shows um, that, you know, uh, you want the best for everybody that you work with. So thanks so much for joining us. Um, can you guys hear me at all? Oh, yeah. Now we can oh, hear you. Oh, good. Because I didn't want to miss this opportunity. Um, you guys, pairs are wonderful, and you guys have a very tough job, and I don't think that you guys hear praise enough. Um, like we mentioned before, it's, sometimes it's easier to say the, the negative rather than the positive, but you guys are greatly appreciated, and <clears throat> I think we mentioned this, Stephanie, at our summer workshop. I know when I was a teacher, I would not have survived without my para. So thank you guys. You guys are amazing. And so we want to just inspire you, please. Um, and maybe Tina, we can go back to the present. Yeah, there we go. Um, uh, please take the time to, um, you know, leave the room that you're sitting in and go out and give some great praise. If not right away, sometime this week. Um, you know, sometimes it's easier for us to do that for kids than it is adults, but look for those adults that you wanna praise in your building too. So again, thanks for creating that positive culture at school. Um, we have a couple resources here. If you liked um, our talk today, um, you might be interested in picking up um, Jim Knight's book, Better Conversations. Uh, it's one of the best pieces of um, professional development I've ever attended. And I think that's because it had so much um, personal connection too, and really taught us how to have better conversations with the people around us, not just at work, but also at home. <laughs> so, hey, thanks everybody. Um, don't let January get you down, um, especially on uh, Thursday when you're in your pajamas, right, ladies? <laughs> right? We're hoping for it too. <laughs> Thank All right. you, everyone. Have Thank a good you. afternoon. See you later.